everyone welcome to our youtube channel knowledge of friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update today we will be discussing about ideas that is your class of 57 in an english version that a student has demanded so we discuss this also uh, so the topic uh, which she said is distributed a shared memory okay so dsm we will be discussing in on this lecture so basically uh, i want to know that um, if uh, you have a requirement for other uh, of this subject so you can see all of this uh, topics of this uh, particular subject you can please uh, share that video uh, that uh, views of yours uh, on a comment section so that we can conclude with that after that we have a discussion with a dsm that is a distributed a shared memory uh, so that is starts from that a distributed a shared memory which is donated by dsm is a form of a memory architecture where this physically separate you can see the architecture is physically separated memories can also be addressed used as one a logically shared address space the shared memory model provides a virtually address space a shared between all the nodes dsm is primarily a tool for any distributed uh, application in which the individual uh, shared uh, items can be accessed directly you can write it down if you want that you know first of all uh, if you are watching our video first time so you can subscribe uh, our channel so that all the updated uh, videos will be comes to you the first time and if you like our videos so do like our videos also and after that we have this uh, that what uh, we give as provided dsm that is distributed shared memory so basically on that basis if i said uh, uh, distributed shared memory which is denoted by the dsm is an abstraction you can say this is an abstraction used for the sharing data between the computers that do not share physical memory basically and the process access that is dsm by the reads and update to what that appear in the ordinary memory within their address space so you can write it down these things if you know uh you want to know that uh what you have to write it down that is important basically so start with it, uh, the next point that we have uh, that uh, however an underlying runtime system ensures the transparency that processes executing at different uh, computers observe the update uh, made by a uh, one another it is at all though uh, you know the process the access of a single shared memory but in fact the physical memory is distributed that you can see uh, if i can say you that it is a dsm so, uh, uh, see this this is your dsm that is distributed shared memory uh, if uh, it has uh, you know three ways uh, that is you can say conversion that uh, goes and down comes and down gives and downs so these are your physical memory for example these are your physical memory if you, i said you about that this is your physical memory you can write it down there as a uh, you know full form of all uh, i was saying this and the first which you have that is your process as is uh, dsm you can say that it is your process access dsm distributed shared memory and after that you have this the dsms appears as memory in address space of that particular process so that is denoted by this you know so dsm have you you can say dsm have a different different uh, physical memory which i said uh, according to the nodes also here but uh, it uh, can represent although the, in that side also that it is though the process process of a single mem uh, shared memory but in fact the physical memory in distributed uh, system you can say in a distributed manner dsm is primarily a tool for a parallel application and that or you can say for any distributed application or a group of application in which the individual share the data items that can be accessed directly you can say that also and if i am talking about the architecture which we had discussed uh, here that architecture of the dsm which you can say that architecture of the distributed shared memory here uh, we can say and we can conclude that a dsm consists of number of nodes or a computer that it consists of number of nodes and a computer each of which is connected of the other though is a high speed communication channel where the next uh, point is here each node consists of one or more control pro uh, central processor unit and a single memory unit you can say that also and after that you have a next point uh, which is the memory is passed from one node to another by means uh, of simple 
the massage passing technique you can say all the, uh, if you're discussing about the architecture so architecture is your uh, here which i can explain you in an english form also because i know that you are belong from tamil so you don't understand as easy as uh, hindi you can say so i will be providing you within this uh, by, uh, language of your english which is demanding on yours so uh, this is your memory architecture this is your memory and that is node one denoted by node one and the second node is denoted by the node two which having all which also having a memory and then after that for uh, node n that um, uh, if the number of uh, n node is uh, your 10 so uh, this uh, last node is your 10 denoted by that and after that you have a memory in that uh, we will be concluding this is as a memory manager mapping a manager so mem mapping manager mapping manager with all including the nodes and the memory after that they uh, you know passes out and then uh, shared it out as a distributed shared memory with the connecting ends all all these things which we had discussed so it consists of a number of nodes and uh, or you can say or a machine or a computer switch each of which is connected to each other through the high speed communication channel so basically they are communicated with the high speed of uh, you know communication channel each node has a several component associated with it each have a several component associated with it each node consists of one or more central processing unit as a single memory unit you can say and the memory is passing one on node of the another of the simple message passing technique over the communication channel this basically the this uh, distributed a shared memory that is the abstraction abstraction puts you know the abstra uh, abstraction meaning uh, i think you know that abstraction stands for the hiding okay so that uh, is distributed uh, system puts the forward and a large memory space to all the cpus for a different nodes this memory exists virtually in fact of the combination of all of all the memories of all the nodes are software memory mapping and the manager of each node maps its local memory into the uh, into the you can say that uh, it's, it's a memory into the memory mapping into the virtual uh, shared memory we can call that the distributed shared memory the distributed shared memory is divided into the numbers and of the blocks as to make the mapping from the local memories of is it better to the appropriate each block of that particular memory contains a certain information which may requires or you can say required by the processor so all these things which comes under your architecture of dsn that is distributed a shared memory and we have a next point uh, there that a data moves between the main memory and the secondary memory within a node and a between the main memory of the differentiation the main memory of the uh, different node individual node is to use the cache points and the shared memory space using the mapping manager when a process access data in a shared allowance space the mapping manager makes the shared memory address to the physical memory and the mapping manager is laid out the software implementation these are the operating kernels and the runtime lifetime routines so basically uh, this comes under your uh, dsm that is distributed shared memory and all uh, thank you hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and give your suggestion on a comment box thank you